What's going on YouTube? It's your boy Gilanova back with a brand new video and in today's video I'm going to show you how to assemble your Yahoo Tech coffee table. This is a product that I purchased off Amazon and it had a lot of good reviews, probably around 4,000 reviews at 4.5 stars and I couldn't find any good video on YouTube uh, for people to assemble this so I'm going to create that video for you guys. Yeah, there's a lot of wood here. Alright YouTube, so for the first step we're going to place the D-screws on a lot of these woods and don't worry, all of these pieces have a letter or a number placed on them so it's easy for you to find. So just follow the instructions and watch this video. So for the very first step we're going to place three screws on each of the D-woods, so there's two D-woods. You're going to be placing each one of these into these holes right here, it should be like a light color. So that's one done. And I'm going to do the same thing for the other one and make sure all of these are screwed in very tightly. And then we do the same thing for number five. These four holes right here, place the D-screw. Now that five is done, we're going to be doing the same thing for three and four. It should be the light colored holes, place the D-screw and you should be good. Alright, so for the next step, for each of the legs, we're going to be placing the B, where is it? The B screws right here. So for instance, this one is number eight. On the very top, we're gonna be placing one screw, another screw, leave the middle one open. When you turn it to the side, you should see two holes. On the very top, we're gonna be screwing that one. And on the very bottom, there should be two more holes. The bottom one is where we're gonna place the screw. And then for number nine, you should see a side where there's four holes. On the very top and on the very bottom, we're gonna be placing the B screw. And on the side, we're gonna do the top and the bottom. And this is how it should look like. This is how it should look like in the very end. So now we're gonna place the number five wood with both of the number twos. Make sure that this one is facing up. And then we're gonna be placing this onto the side, like so. Place the screws through the holes like that and grab this twisty screw I believe this one is a uh, letter C place it through the hole too you can see that I kind of messed up earlier because I did the wrong way and then now we're going to screw it on and then we're going to do the same thing for the other side place it through the three holes on the side so now that we have that we're going to get the number six wood and then make sure that the circles are facing this way outwards make sure it's in the very bottom place it through the hole like so and then we're going to do the same thing use the letter C screws time I believe just four make sure that they're secured tightly next up we're going to place this number seven wood on top of this while using four pieces of the letter H and the four screws of the letter A so we're going to place the letter H tool in the middle parts once that's done place it right on top and make sure that the four big holes are facing outside and then place the screws right on top and then screw it in and make sure that it is nice and tight. Next, we're going to attach the legs number eight and nine to the side panels, which is number three and four. To do this, we need eight of the letter C and eight of the letter H, which is the wooden ones right here. So for the number nine, you'll see two holes on the side. Place the wooden ones, which is letter H inside, and these should be directly in the middle. And then for number eight, should be the same thing directly in the middle. Next up, follow the labels on the side panels. This one says up, so make sure that it's facing up this way. Then we're gonna place the number eight and nine onto the sides. So this one should look identical for three and four. Once they're all locked in, we're going to place the C screw inside so that we can secure the legs of the table. So this time you only need eight of these. Next thing, we're going to place the letter H onto the holes. There's going to be six of these on each side of our side panels. Now, once that's done, we're going to place each of them to the side. Just align it with the holes and then push it right in. Once that's in, we're going to place the letter C screws onto the big circles on the side. So there's going to be two on the top and then two on the very bottom. And then same thing goes for the other side. All right, so now we're gonna use the letter C screws again. There's gonna be eight holes, two, four, six, eight on the sides, and then we're just gonna screw them in and make sure that it's tight so that it doesn't fall in the future. Now, once that is done, we're going to place the letter I. There's gonna be four circles, and we're gonna place them on each of the sides. 
Now we're gonna get the letters E. So there's gonna be a left side and a right side. On the sides right here, we're going to place the letter F, which is this tool. And then we're just gonna connect it like this for them to connect just like that. All right, fam, we're almost there to the final steps. So we're gonna use the left side and the right side and we're gonna place it on the number one wood. Make sure that this is facing inside and for it to stick, we're going to use the G screws. All right, YouTube, and for the last step, we're going to put the very top, just some holes to the side. That's where you're gonna screw the G screws onto the very top so that you're able to put it up and down for extra storage. So just align it with the holes and then screw it right in. YouTube, and there you have it, featuring my brand new couch. If you guys enjoyed this video, please hit the like button down below. If you have any questions, please leave a comment below. And if you haven't already, please hit the subscribe button. Until next time, YouTube, stay gold.